I'm putting together one of the world's most basic drinks, the gin and tonic. And we're starting here with what you may think is an enormous glass, and you'd be right. This is a 13 ounce glass, nearly a pint. Why is it so big, Joseph? Because at Little Branch, we use a hand cut enormous rock of ice. Why would you do that, Joseph? The reason is uh, when you have a drink sitting on that, it will dilute much more slowly. So you can sit there and sip your drink without it turning into a watery mess by the time you're done. So to that, we will add two ounces of your preferred gin, or two and a half if you're a generous fellow like me. And we've got this fantastic ice and this nice gin. You think our work is done, it is not. I'm gonna use uh, Q-Tonic, which is an artisanal tonic. The reason I use this instead of uh, one of your commercial brands is that this is made with actual quinine bark. Uh, the others are made with chemically synthesized quinine. So chemically identical, but not natural. Um, your palate may never know the difference. A chemist would know the difference. And we like to know that what we're consuming is uh, fresh and natural and made with the same artisanal approach that we use when we make our drinks. So I'm gonna open up the Q-Tonic and there are several other brands just like this out on the market. This is the one that we happen to carry. Dilute this to my personal preference and we usually serve the bottle. So if somebody wants to go adding more tonic in or just drink the tonic when they're done, we'll give you a spoon straw to stir and sip with and a lime garnish, a gin and tonic.